What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So we're gonna be talking about the Highwaymen. That's right, the Highwaymen. My viewers have been asking, Matt, have you seen the Highwaymen? What do you think about it? So we're gonna talk about the Highwaymen and what we can learn from it. So let's get into it. For those of you who don't know what The Highwayman is, it is a movie that was recently released over on Netflix with uh, Kevin Costner and Woody Harrelson in it about the relentless pursuit of the Texas Rangers of Hammer and Galt as they followed and pursued Bonnie and Clyde across the country. Um, that's It's basically what it's about is their pursuit of just following Bonnie and Clyde and finally bringing Bonnie and Clyde's killing spree to an end. Right, that's what this is about. This is a very good movie. Kevin Costner is a great actor. Woody Harrelson, they're both great actors. And they do a really good job in this. They take a lot of facts and they put it out to what happened and what led to the end of Bonnie and Clyde and all that other stuff. And they showed it from the law, law enforcement perspective, not the uh, fan club of the Bonnie and Clyde perspective. All right, so I want to talk about this because this is a really good movie. All my viewers have been asking me to check it out. I really enjoyed it. And I want to talk about a few things. I want to bring out something that kind of bothered me a little bit when I was uh, looking about the real reviews on it and stuff like that. But anyway, so it's a great, great movie. Basically, what it does is it talks about how uh, Hammer and Gout, okay, the Texas Rangers, had been disbanded due to politics. The uh, the political governor of freaking Texas was was kind of a uh, let's just say she wasn't the most respectable person, a, a politician, a modern, like a modern day politician who and graces themselves in themselves and puts on a show for the public in you know completely lying to the public puts on a show for the public to get the public's favor so they can get reelected so I mean, this woman hated the texas rangers and she disbanded them she did not like the texas rangers she didn't like their techniques and she disbanded them now some of their questioning techniques worked were questionable? Yes, there were. There were some techniques questionable, but we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Well, she disbanded them, but Bonnie and Clyde was on, on the road for a couple of years, and they're basically ambushing police officers, robbing, you know, robbing banks, ambushing police officers, killing people, and brutally, brutally murdering people. Bonnie and Clyde were no heroes. They were no American heroes. They were freaking murderers. Uh, these were some of the worst type of murderers that was out there, and they enjoyed it. They got off on it. They got off on their murdering spree, and they publicized about it right and then they became like a hero and people they be like there's like fans that would follow them around and fell in love with bonnie and clyde it's like how could you fall around in love with these ruthless murderers right you know and it's just it just that part, that part bothers me but this it is what it is people are people are psychotic like that but anyway so it's a great great movie talking about the pursuit of hammer and gout now what they do is when they follow across the country they're following the crews picking up the breadcrumbs as it goes or stopping at the the actual crime scenes after Bonnie and Clyde's have done the fatal shootings and stuff like that piecing everything together and they're constantly being attacked by the politics right the politics the uh, governor of Texas that appointed them to go out there because she didn't like them she was kind of, they were constantly get, trying to get railroad by her because she didn't like them and stuff like that and they fought their way around they fought their way around the federal government to do their job which is stop Bonnie and Clyde now this was a great like it was just a good movie you guys if you haven't checked it out go take a look at it. netflix it's a little graphic but it's you know it is what it is go take a look at it well one thing i wanted to bring up in this is i was looking at a review of it and it came from the washington post go figure and just from like the very opening of it is like oh geez it was basically this uh female uh writer from uh over at uh washington post said that it was a horrible movie it was a horrible movie because all it really did was celebrate to masculine white males, all right, to masculine white males and the excessive force of the Texas Rangers and the evil people that they were. And all it does is celebrate these people and it's a horrible thing. And it drove me in nuts when I started reading this article. And I wanna talk about that for a minute because there's this mindset that some people have in this country, which is very similar to the Bonnie and Clyde fan club. All right, the Bonnie and Clyde fan club and the real, the real people, all right? There's a very similar mindset to it in the left. We'll just say the left. And that is that what these guys were doing was horrible things. They were horrible. They are brutal murderers. And all they did is they were hiding behind a badge and these big old masculine males. And that's a bad thing in the first place. And it's, it's, it's so freaking ridiculous. Bonnie and Clyde were tiny little individuals. They're tiny. They were they were, see, they were very tiny individuals. And God forbid these big white masculine males bully these uh, little, you know, 
little white, you know, beautiful people that were tiny and, you know, were, weren't handed the greatest thing and a woman that was injured. God forbid that these big bullies take care, you know, do that. But the thing is, is that those two little tiny individuals had evil, pure evil heart. They had pure evil intentions. They had no intention of going to jail. They enjoyed murdering. They enjoyed killing. And they spent years on the road killing and killing and killing, just murdering everyone they possibly could that wore a badge, murdering everyone they possibly could. The only way to stop someone with that enjoys, this is the thing, the only way to stop someone who enjoys and gets off on excessive violence and just pure evil and gore, the only way to stop them is for people willing to step up and use that same, not the same, but use that violence, okay, and stop them. Because these people, no matter what, they were not going to go to jail. These two, Bonnie and Clyde and their, their little gang, were not going to go to jail. They were going to go down fighting and they were going to kill everyone along the way because they were not good people. They were evil, evil, e evil people. And it, then you attack it in the fact that it was uh, two white masculine males, which is like the persona of the American people, uh, you know, two white masculine male western guys uh, how dare they you know use excessive violence okay these people they didn't use violence just to use the violence these people these texas rangers they that they use violence for one reason alone and that was to end more violence okay and it sucks and a lot of people can't wrap their heads on this violence at the end violence is violence is all bad in the first place there shouldn't be any violence in the world well suck it up buttercup because there's a lot of violence in the world there's a lot of violence, so there's a lot of evil in the world. And the only way to stop evil is to be able to use violence in order to stop them sometimes. And it sucks. It is sucks, but that's the world that we live in. The only way to stop someone that is determined to kill you is to kill them first or prevent them from killing other people. So if these two masculine males, personas, masculine males, weren't willing to stand up, charge into the, the unknown, because they, 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 they were up against some serious firepower, BARs and stuff like that. It was nothing they were used to. These two males, masculine American males, were willing to stand up and use everything in their power to stop murdering psychopaths, which were heavily armed to the teeth, and they were, were killing every single person that, that, that they pretty much every single person that they didn't like. Okay, these are they didn't kill their own people, right? Bonnie and Clyde, they didn't kill their own people. So if they didn't have these two masculine males to stand up and stand up for what was right and to stop these people by using violence violence, which is the only means necessarily to stop the future violence of these people, then Bonnie and Clyde would have never been stopped. They would have never been stopped and the violence would have continued. And so those people that are bitching and complaining right now, that are like writing stuff in the Washington Post and stuff like that. Well, what happens if Bonnie and Clyde went out and killed your parents or your grandparents at the time? Then guess what? You wouldn't be born, you wouldn't be born right now. Wouldn't be able to be complaining at the moment now, would you? Bonnie and Clyde were horrible, horrible monsters. Okay, they were monsters. It's just like terrorism. Terrorism there is just monsters, just darkness, just evil, pure evil, just monsters. The only way to stop that type of thing is to be able to stand up, knowing that you may not come home doing everything in your power to stop them, pursue them relentlessly until the end, until you can stop the actual rampage that they're on. That is the only way to actually stop people like that. That is the only way to stop people like that. There's no other way to actually stop someone like that. I don't care what your popular beliefs are or something like that. You cannot stop evil by being nice and polite and not doing anything. You have to stand up and you have to stop it. Now, if it's because it's the whole masculine male thing that does it, well, are you going to see the top knot skinny jeans wearing males that are over there drinking lattes and stuff like that? Are you going to see them act up or, you know, get off their Twitter, maybe in a modern, say if it was a modern day body and Clyde, will they be able to get off their Twitter, stop bitching and complaining, stop complaining about how the, the hand they're to deal? Will they be willing to stand up and fight for you to keep you alive in order to end, use necessarily violence, which sucks to say, but use necessarily violence to end violent, to end serious, crazy, psych psychotic violence. Are they the ones that are gonna be willing to do it? Or do you think it's gonna be either a masculine male or masculine females these days? Who do you think is gonna be doing it? So for the Washington Post lady who's reporting it, you need to grow up and you need to pop that bubble of that unicorn world that you live in because we do not live in a happy world. We do not live in a good world. We live in a world where there's good people and there's bad people. And the only way to stop bad people is either to put them behind bars or to stop them. 
That's the only way to do it. And unfortunately, some of these bad people will never, ever, ever allow themselves to go behind bars. So guess what? They're going to use all violence, all means available to them. They're going to be the nastiest, grossest people in the world. They're going to do horrible things before they go back to jail. So the only way to stop that type of evil is to use calculated violence compared to psychotic violence. That's the only way to do it. These Texas Rangers weren't bad people. They were doing their duty, and they knew that if they did not stand up, if Hammer and Galt did not stand up and, and pursue them relentlessly, if they did not stand up, pursue them relentlessly, ambush them finally at the end because that's the only way to do it, if they did not do that, the killing and the violence would have continued even longer, and more innocent police officers, more innocent gas station clerks, more innocent bank tellers, or more innocent people would get murdered brutally. And then they flip them over and use a scatter gun on their face just because. Because they wanted to see them, see the whites of their eyes leave, right? That's how psychotic Bonnie and Clyde were, right? That's how psychotic Bonnie and Clyde were. So, anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you haven't checked out the show, go check it out. It's over at uh, Netflix, um, The Highwaymen. And remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Even if we need to use violence in order to protect each other. Peace.